Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to reconcile Shopify orders using the Shopify payment ID rather than the invoice ID. Let's get started. First thing to understand with Shopify is when you look at the orders, you'll see that there are order numbers here which correlate to invoice numbers on your system. However, when a customer makes a payment for an order, they're not going to have this order number as their reference on their payment. This is because the order number or the invoice number only gets generated after the payment is complete. So what will the customer have then? Well, let's make a test payment and find out. Let's purchase a sample product and see what happens. As you can see, we are using the PayGate payment method to let go through the process and show you what the customer sees. And if you look at the top here, it shows the merchant name. Normally this will be the name of your site or your client's site. Then it shows the reference. Make, take note of this number because this is going to be important later. Let's just paste it there for now. Select card. payment information and go next. Now you'll see this is a test transaction. This will not show up when a live payment is made. Now as you can see, the, the payment was successful, so the order number has been generated. But what happens if a payment is not successful? Let's go to the back end and have a look. So if you refresh the page, you'll see the new order number 1009 has just shown up and it all seems to be in order. But let's say the customer doesn't have their order number, they didn't copy it or they didn't receive it and all they have is the reference number. How can you find the order based on the reference number? Well, let's take the, the customer reference number from earlier that we used when making the payment and have a look. So the first thing you can, you can do, if you log into the back end just to check the order, you can paste it into the search bar at the top of the page. And the order will come up, as you can see, 1009. If you select it, then you see the order is correct. But there's a second way to check as well. If you open the orders page and search, it'll show you the order 1009. But what about an order that failed or an abandoned checkout? Let's have a look at an abandoned checkout and see. Now, if you look at the abandoned checkouts, you'll see that the, the checkout numbers aren't normal order numbers because the payment didn't go through. So in this case, the references will be the payment reference that the customer had. So if we search in the checkout for one of these numbers, you'll, you'll be able to find the checkout easily. You might be wondering why does the reference number show up if it's not shown here? Well, let's open the first order and have a look. You scroll right to the bottom of the screen, you'll see that the checkout number is the PayGate reference number. That is why this order shows up in the search, because it is finding this number right here. This is useful because you can find both an order based on the PayGate reference number, or you can find the PayGate reference number for an order by opening the order, scrolling to the bottom, and looking up the PayGate reference number. And that is how you can find an order based on the PayGate reference number or find a PayGate's reference number for an order. Thank you and good luck.